Vegeta, you already knew last night that we didn't break out of the Samsara? Why didn't you tell us? <laughs> Would there have been a point? You that spent the night with new worries, with tomorrow still out of reach. In that case, you might as well rest within that brief moment of hope. An opportunity like that doesn't come by often, and I thought it might help you clear your minds. I'm a that the Duke Duke did that! Oh, uh, whatever. Guess you were looking out for us after all. <laughs> of course. In the time we've been together, you two have been everything to me. Taking things a little fast. <laughs> <laughs> what I mean is, even though I had asked you to solve this puzzle, you two are still the only ones who can see me and sense my presence. In other words, if you weren't here, I may as well not exist. That's why you two have been everything to me. Get it? Nahida's talking about confusing stuff again. Anyway, that's enough chit chat. So, traveler. Did the new clues yesterday help you gain a new understanding of the situation? Huh? Why are you scrapping your previous theory? Oh, yeah! You're right! Gosh, how did we not notice that? In a simple time loop, people's physical conditions should also reset. So, what's your new hypothesis? Mercenaries rely heavily on muscle memory. And... Dia was able to use her experiences to avoid injury in later samsara cycles. Hmm. The beep is a prompt tone for Akasha operations. We still hear it every night, even though we removed our Akasha terminals. Okay. Nahida said, the Akasha... of a day are erased at the end of that day, then we would unwittingly relive that same day again and again. The moon, illusions, and lies. <sighs> if all our memories... memory can't be erased. That's why Dia has been getting better at using her great sword. Now everything makes sense! Hmm, a brilliant deduction. Nahida, tell us if we're right or wrong. To put it simply, it's as if you've mistaken a pyro crystal fly for a firefly in the night. You lost sight of its true nature because you focus too much on your perception that it glows. Why don't you go talk to Miss Dia again? You might learn something new. Right! She did help us find our latest clue after all. Let's go!
There you are. Really took me a while to find you. As expected, Dia also didn't get hurt. Get hurt? Why would I? Don't underestimate me. Well, you're still getting used to your new greatsword. Huh. Truth be told, I also think it's pretty strange. It just suddenly felt so familiar in my hands and... It... Wait a second! How did you know I got a new greatsword to begin with? I didn't tell anyone about it. Traveler, could you explain the situation to her today? Paimon's gotten a little sick of doing it. Oh, that works! What happened to you guys while I was gone? Did you get brainwashed by some cult? Um, don't think too hard about it. Just take what we're saying at face value. All right, then. Let me get this straight. You're telling me that my body's already gotten used to this great sword, but my brain just doesn't remember it? Yes! Your memory's being erased every day! Then I'd have to disagree. That's impossible. Oh? Why do you think that? If we've actually been reliving the Subzerus Festival day after day, then what happened to the things we used, the money we spent, the food we ate? Common sense says my wallet should have emptied itself a long time ago. There's no way I wouldn't have noticed that. Right! They could use the Akasha to record what everyone did that day, and then use the city's resources to replenish everything! It's not very likely, but it's also not impossible. No, it is impossible. I've got proof. You have proof? Where? You two are surprisingly serious about this nonsensical discussion. Fine, I'll play along for a little longer. Come with me, Miss Dunyarzad. Please come along as well. I still can't guarantee that this area is safe. Paimon can't believe it's Dia who wants to show us something this time. Two days ago, we were the ones taking her to see Dunyarzad. This is it. Huh? This is the wooden training dummy. What about it? See those marks on the dummy? Those are the result of several days worth of practice. Let's say the sages didn't replace it every day. Shouldn't it be hacked to pieces by now? That's true, but what if they did? Then the sages would have had to reproduce every mark I left during previous training sessions. I'm a professional fighter. My martial school has always emphasized the importance of refined control. The force, angle, and entry point of each strike is calculated and deliberate. That's why I remember every mark on the dummy, as well as my state of mind as I made each strike. It's just as they say, each swordsman has their own unique style, and even the same swordsman can't make the same cut twice. It would be impossible to copy these marks. Is it really impossible? What if they use some fancy machine to carve every single mark? People often say that a camera's photo can never replace an artist's painting because the former has no spirit to it. The same thing applies here. At a mere glance, I can differentiate carved marks from the results of combat training. Whew, I hope that cleared things up for you. Hey, is this that new brain exercise game that's been super popular with the scholars lately? It's surprisingly fun. Anyway, it's getting late. I should escort Miss Dunyarzad to Nilu's stage. See you later. Welp, back to square one. Is our memory deletion theory also wrong? <sighs> but at least we've reached some other conclusions in the meantime. Yep, that's true. So, can we think of any new ideas right now? Strange? Paimon feels like everything's been strange lately. Huh? Leaving the city? You're right! It's really strange how we never thought of such a simple solution! Many things should become clear if we can confirm the flow of time outside of the city. Paimon can't believe it! Did we miss this because we're tunnel visioning too hard on our other theories? Or because we're just too tired? How about we 
should go back and ask Nahida. Maybe we've forgotten something about leaving the city.